Two people from Myanmar have been arrested, accused of plotting to attack the country's UN ambassador. Koa Moi Tun, who was appointed by the deposed civilian government, has openly criticised the military junta since it seized power in February. The UN still considers him to be Myanmar's official envoy, even though the generals fired him. Prosecutors say two men who live in New York planned to either injure or kill the ambassador. Phil Robertson is the Deputy Director of Human Rights Watch uh, in the Asia Division. He joins us live by Skype from Boston. Thank you for your time. Uh, what was your initial reaction when you heard about this plot? Well, what this plot really shows is the brutal rights abusing and law violating orientation of this Myanmar military junta. It shows that this junta is for more than willing to run roughshod over international norms and basically do anything to stay in power. Yeah. Do you think this is partly also sending a message, the generals wanting to send a, a warning, I guess, to anyone who, who is critical, uh, no matter where they are? Well, I certainly think that they see Jamo Tun uh, as the ambassador in the UN as a major problem for them. Uh, you know, he occupies a very important seat in the UN. You know, we and other groups are busy there trying to push resolutions for an international arms embargo and for target economic sanctions. And he's the linchpin of any effort by uh, the military to push back against that. And they can't do that because he has gone over to the other side. And so they're desperate to do something to get rid of him. And uh, it shows that they were per willing to consider killing him. Mm. Do you think this will uh, in any way dampen down uh, vocal opposition abroad, uh, critics abroad? You know, this is obviously a, a, a very real threat. I think it will inflame people's uh, reaction against the military junta. And I think it will also backfire against the military junta uh, in its efforts to try to gain any sort of international legitimacy. Uh, quite clearly, uh, governments around the world have to make a decision in September about whether they're going to allow John Mutun to continue to occupy that seat at the UN. And, and this uh, plot against him is certainly going to uh, be part of the considerations that they're looking at when they're thinking about that, that, mm. you know, somebody could be assassinated for their political uh, views uh, because they're in their official position as an ambassador at the UN. I think certainly other ambassadors will be thinking long and hard about what uh, kind of government would consider doing such a thing. Meanwhile, Human Rights Watch uh, has documented what seems like numerous uh, crimes against humanity. What more can you tell us on that inside the country? Well, it's now been six months uh, since the February 1st coup. Quite clearly, there is a, a pattern of abuses that are systematic and widespread across the country. Uh, involving murder, involving uh, torture and detention, involving other international crimes that we think the, the military junta should be held accountable for. Uh, that's why we have pressed the UN Security Council to take action, uh, to refer uh, the military junta's actions to the International Criminal Court. But so far, we're stymied like everybody else because of the opposition of uh, Russia and China to any sort of substantive action against the military junta. All right, thank you for your time, uh, Phil. Phil Robertson there, the Deputy Director of Human Rights Watch's uh, Asia Division. Thank you.